Emerging from seven days of self-imposed quarantine, Premier Mark McGowan joined the Prime Minister on day three of his tour of WA. Announcing more joint funding for a new bridge across the Swan from Victoria Park. Any previous conflict over WA's hard border seems to be water under the bridge. Do you still think WA has overreacted? No, I don't. I think Western Australia has has travelled its own path and rightly, and the results speak for themselves. The Prime Minister also denying comments about cave dwellers last August were pointed at the Premier and WA. COVID is a new different world and we need to get out there and live in it. We can't stay in the cave and we can get out of it safely. That's what the plan does. No, I didn't actually. I wasn't referring to Western Australia at all. At all. Uh, today I've just done a press conference with the Prime Minister. So they'll finish. I'll just finish. I just, I'm not going to get into that sort of political tit for tat that, you know, that, uh, and I don't think West Australians or Australians more generally would want me to do that. The state government says its focus is on the upcoming federal budget. We owe it on behalf of WA taxpayers to secure as much money as possible for the state. In a joint funding announcement, the Morrison and McGowan governments will spend $100 million on a pedestrian and cycling bridge. There'll be a similar amount added to funding set aside for the new Edith Cowan University development in the city. Despite being from different political parties, that uh, as professional um, leaders of governments, we get stuff done together for Western Australia. Praise too for the popular Premier, who definitely isn't running for PM. Well, whichever way people vote at the next federal election, I can tell you one thing for sure, and that is Premier McGowan will be the Premier the next day. Whoever you vote for, Mark McGowan will be the Premier the next day. Whoever you vote for, Premier McGowan's still going to be the Premier. So this is about who's going to lead the country. Scott Morrison is expected to remain in WA until the weekend. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mark. Good on you. James Carmody, ABC News. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. See you later. See ya.